Welcome back for another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tip involves transforming images to get just a tiny bit more room or even in some cases a lot more room. Uh, if you have a photo that you really want to use for something but say it's a smidge too, you know, not wide enough or a smidge not tall enough or you've accidentally been given an image and then you need bleeds but there isn't any extra data to work with. Um, so like in the instance of this image, if I was going to use this image, but say the document I wanted to use it in or the print ad I wanted to use it in was actually this size, um, you could spend, you know, an hour, 20 minutes or anything really trying to like copy this data over and, you know, blend it and try to come up with a way that looks good to extend the rest of the image. Um, but one thing a lot of people don't try, which actually a lot of times you can pull off without it looking wonky, uh, it tends to only backfire if you have things that are really obvious for scale, like, you know, people's faces or text or stuff like that. Um, if you just grab your select tool and select the part of the image that is closest to where you need to extend, um, and I'm going to go to about here because I know that if I start stretching this other stuff like these lamp posts, it's going to become more obvious. But if I just highlight a little of that and hit Control T with the selection or Command T, um, you can actually just grab it and stretch it over just a tiny bit and then just double click to um, apply it. And it, you know, to the naked eye, you can't tell that that was stretched. And you can actually do this in different spots and you can do it you know 10 20 times it doesn't really matter but you can kind of just slowly start to fudge the width of the document and when you do that you'll end up giving yourself more room to uh, work with and I've found a ton of times that um, you know this this example here with this photo might not be the best prime example to show you but that when I've been working with trade show banners and things, a lot of times a client will be like, oh, I really want to use this image, and then the banner they want to use it on is like this. So then you've got to figure out a way, you know, how do you fake that extra data to actually use it without having to, you know, blow up your image really huge because then it doesn't fit and all that. Um, just a really simple way is just to try to start fudging the data that you do have. Just, you know, transform a little bit here. Uh, you can duplicate the layer, you can, you know, transform a tiny bit in the center, move that over, and then grab the other layer and uh, move it over until it lines up. Um, it really, apparently I can't grab that one, there we go. Um, it helps, and a lot of times no one's going to be able to tell, which is the kind of the crowning achievement of any uh, technique that you're doing in Photoshop because if people can tell you've done something wrong but um, that's the tip uh, you can use another thing you can use with it too is you know warp distort perspective all those uh, but the real easiest way just to get started is just to use control T and just barely kind of fudge it just a tiny bit um, and 99% of the time if you do it right no one will be able to tell so that's the tip. If you have any questions, shoot them to me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and hope it was helpful.